Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. Today I'm making another all grain pale ale, number three this time. So uh, as I get the water on, this time I'm using Cooper's brand new ale malt. Uh, they've started making malt, so I thought I'd give that a try. Uh, so that makes up 85%. 10% of it is Munich, and I've gone back to that. Last time I used wheat, and the last 5% is Cara Red, which I've never used before. But here's really nice. So, yep, there's all the grains going in ready for mash. I'm stirring it around uh, to make sure that I get a good mix in there. And uh, any second now, check the temperature, hidden behind a shadow, so not quite sure what that is there. Oh well, wrap it in the blanket, and this will mash for one hour. Right there, there it is, in the blanket, and leave it for an hour. And hang on. What's this empty beer glass? I know how to fix that. Yeah, I've got an hour to go. I might as well have a beer while I'm waiting. So that's a pretty good use of an hour. The dog's happy. Aren't you, Max? He's just happy to be there. He's always happy. Anyway, okay, so we're done now. It mashed at 64, I think that's it. 65, maybe. Out comes the bag. The thing starts to drain. So all the good stuff drains out the bag there. And, um, oh, yep, yeah, get the heat back on so that it starts to boil. Squeeze out the grains and then pour the stuff in. And actually, that was looking a lot lighter than I expected. I even went back to the recipe uh, to make sure. But apparently, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Anyway, um, I got some citra hops for this uh, without realizing how much leftovers I had of other things. So that's, I'm actually using Amarillo to um, bitter it. That's that. And then that was Nelson hops that you saw me getting out there as well. So that goes in there. This goes for an hour. So for the next hour, I'm going to be parenting. Yes, there's Jonah in the pool playing with a ladle and a little floaty thing. He loves the water. He's had uh, swimming lessons since he was a tiny baby, you know, just sort of water familiarization. But anyway, he's a happy little kid. He's playing around with his ball there. And uh, oh, there's Max. Max can play with his ball as well. Just throw that and he'll go chase it. He still doesn't bring it back, but he'll drop it on you. Oh yeah, okay, 15 minutes to go. That's a uh, yeast nutrient and half a whirl flock tablet going in with 15 minutes to go. And now we're almost ready for the end. So um, this is some Nelson hops that I'm getting ready to chuck in there. And as Jenna finishes off his banana, with about a minute and a bit to go, I'll put the Nelson hops in. And then, sure enough, soon after, time to switch it off. And, um, and oh, 10 minutes have passed now, so I'm giving this a drain and I'm sort of tossing it around. Someone told me that that's all right to do. I can see a bit of green coming out, but I don't think that's anything to worry about. So that was much quicker than usual. Here goes the whirlpool. Whirly whirl, whirl, pooly pool, 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 pool. Don't go swimming in that pool. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, color time. Here's the color of the, uh, yep, that's it. Like I said, it was a bit lighter than expected, but that must have all been in my head because when I double checked it, sure enough, it's about what I should expect. So anyway, squeezing out the last bit there with my massive thighs, and I think we're just about done. Yep, there's the beer. Uh, there's my little sample. I'll measure the gravity. Jonah's has got the yeast, and he gets a bit upset if I take it off of him, but that's going to be rehydrated, and I'll transfer it to a fermenter tomorrow. Put the yeast in. Everybody's happy. Max jumping around. Jonah's got the yeast to play with for the time being until I distract him with something else. I reckon we're just about done. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.